dear friends and welcome to another episode of pale blue thoughts so here's a task for you tomorrow morning when you freshen up in the bathroom have a look into the mirror and say aloud elon musk loves me you will see your good looking reflection and probably notice something the little pimple on your right cheek seems to be on the left cheek of your mirror image the writing on your shirt is reversed too obviously your mirror switches left and right you can see it with your own eyes correct but does it really and why does it switch left to right and not top to bottom today we will answer that question that can really confuse your mind do mirrors switch left and right we will perform some simple experiments to demonstrate the point as it is slightly difficult to grasp the point in the beginning for most people and no it is not anything like my last one harpicum toilet alice Before we come to the reflection itself let us have a short recap of what a mirror actually does imagine you have a light wave and this is traveling through a medium let's say air at the interface of another medium the direction of the wave changes there we have two things a reflection and refraction we only really look at reflection today as that is the point of discussion when the light ray approaches our mirror surface it is reflected the incoming light ray is called the incident ray depicted as q and the outgoing ray is called the reflected ray mentioned as p the normal is an imaginary line to the mirror the law of reflection says that the incident angle and the reflected angle are equal so when we point a laser to the surface of a mirror we can tell where the laser will be reflected to this kind of reflection is also known as a specular reflection there is also a diffuse reflection that occurs when the surface is not smooth the reflected wave is scattered into many different directions since the reflection angle is not the same most of the reflected visible light that reaches our eyes are from diffuse reflection usually we have a specular reflection on metal surfaces or water surfaces mirror is the same so how does a mirror actually work and show us a mirror image whenever we look into a mirror we see an image of an object in front of the mirror light which is diffusively reflected from the object is reflected on the mirror and reaches our eye this is happening with every single point of the object the law of reflection tells us that the incident and reflected angle are equal let us use this law on the picture that you see here the rays from the nose is reflected and hit our eye to our eye however it seems that this light comes from the other side of the mirror it is like there is a different world inside the mirror and we are looking at ourselves from the other side and the mirror is a window to the other world when we look into the mirror and see a pimple on the left side because it is displayed on the left side of the mirror we however think it is on the right our brain tricks us because we are used to seeing faces of humans in reverse when you see the face of someone you see the left side of his face on your right and his right side on your left let us do a simple experiment I'm using a mirror here to demonstrate this. Let me use this pen. The tip of the pen is to the left and the bottom is to the right. I show this to a mirror and nothing changes. What is left still stays left and what is on the right still stays right. This comes real handy especially when you're driving. People who use the rear view mirrors would have noticed that if you see a car approaching you on the left, it would still be on the left on the rear view mirror. There is no inversion. Now let us point the pen down. Here too there is no flipping. What is at the top stays at the top and what is at the bottom stays on the bottom in the mirror image too. So there is no flipping on the x axis or the y axis. Now let us point this pen towards the mirror. The tip of the pen is closest to the mirror in both the images. But if you look at the mirror image you would notice that you are looking at the pen from behind. It is as if you have gone to the other side and you are looking at the pen now and you would see it exactly as you are seeing on the mirror z axis has been flipped what is closer to us seems farther in a mirror and what is farther to us appear closer in a mirror in the mirror world you are looking at things from behind 
So mirrors don't flip left and right or up and down. They flip the depth. They flip the in and out. Mirrors don't actually reverse anything. It is you who are doing the flipping. That reflection represents the photons of light bouncing back in the same direction from which they came. You are looking at it from behind. Still confused? Let us go through this with text. Imagine you wrote signs and held it in front of your face. You would be able to read it clearly. But if you wanted to see the article's reflection, you would have to hold it up to a mirror. And to do that, you have to turn it around. So what do you do? You turn the paper horizontally and show it to a mirror. The mirror doesn't change the lateral direction of the text on the paper. You do. To prove this further, I am going to write a word on a transparent paper. As you can see, the text appears exactly as you see it. But now, I flip it and see it from behind. It looks like this. Now I show it to a mirror and it appears exactly as you read it from behind. So it is not mirrors that do the flipping. It is you who is doing the flipping. Get it? When I look at the word, I read it correctly. But when I flip it and show it to the mirror, I turn it and present it backwards to the mirror which just reflects it back to me. You have done the flipping, not the mirror. So don't blame the poor mirror. When you look at yourself in the mirror, it is like you have gone on the other side and you're looking at yourself. This is the reason why some ambulances have the word written as if it is viewed from behind so that when they see it on your rear view mirror, it would appear correctly. Pretty smart, huh? So if you really thought that mirrors switch left and right all these years, it is time to change that perspective. The mirror switches front and back and not left and right. Mirrors don't flip things on the X or Y axis but the Z axis. Mirrors, poor things don't flip things on their own. You flip it and present it to the mirror and it just reflects what you presented it. So you may have had an incorrect knowledge all these while. Crazy isn't it? For a seemingly simple question, the answer can really mess with your head. It is certainly something that is more easily explained visually. So go stand in front of a mirror and experiment yourself. Place your right hand in front and wave and you can see it is the same hand which you can see in the mirror. If mirrors switched left and right, then it should have been your left hand that should be waving. However, it isn't. If someone happens to see waving your hands to a mirror and ask what you are doing, you can just tell them, I am doing signs. But there is a way to overcome this using a true mirror which uses two mirrors at right angles. Then when you raise your right hand, your left hand gets raised. I found this cool illusion at the Museum of Illusion and thought you would like it. I hope you learned something new from me today. If you did, please do share this with others to pass on the knowledge. For more videos such as this, subscribe to the channel and also head to the video section to see hundreds of more such scientific misconceptions busted. I will be back real soon with more everyday science. Until next time, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.